Welcome to PPT Chats. So let's see this interactive PowerPoint presentation made for kids. So here I have given this mouse over effect. So as soon as I bring my mouse pointer over these icons, the slide automatically changes with a beautiful animated background. And when we go to the visit icon, we visit the page like this with the 3D animation, some text and some zoom effect over here. And like this. And if we click on go back icon, so we go directly back to the same slide. Okay. And here if I take my mouse pointer over the another icon. And here if we visit, so we visit a different page like this with the same 3D effect and some zoom effect. So let's see. Here we have the free download link is provided in the description below. So let's begin with the tutorial of our first slide. So here I have this background image. So we'll take this image and we'll give it the motion path. Let's go to the lines. Okay. And in the effect options, let's give it the right direction. Okay. It is going to move towards the right hand side, but not this much. So we will reduce its length by just moving the red handle like this. Okay. Little bit only. This much only. And then we are going to give the add animation to the same image. And here we will give grow and shrink animation like this. So for the grow and shrink animation, we will go to the effect options and instead of 150, we'll just give 110 percent. That's it. And you can just go for the smooth start and then press OK button. All right. Now for both the animations, select both the animations in the drop down menu. Select start with previous and again go to the effect options and here's click on auto reverse and in the timings repeat until and off slide and then press ok so here we have this kind of animation for our background image if you want you can just increase the time for the animation for around four seconds all right now in the next step we are going to insert a shape rectangle in such a way that it covers the whole slide like this all right and for this slide we will give some colors so we'll go to the format shape option and in the fill effect we'll go to the gradient fill and we'll just have two gradient stops and for both the gradient stops we will give black color for the stop number one black color and for the stop number two also we'll give black color but for the stop number two, we are going to set the transparency to the 100% and in the direction, we'll give this direction. Alright. And if you feel that it is too dark, you can just go to a little lighter shade of black like this. Alright. Done. So in the next step, let's learn how to add these icons. So here, you have me. So... I'll show you. Okay. So basically what I've done, I again I'm going to insert the rectangle shape over here of the same size like this. The shape fill option will take picture or texture fill. Now here in the textures options, we will go for the new sprint effect and the transparency I'm going to give around 50%. Okay, done. And for the same, in the shape outline, there will be no outline, or you can give white outline. Fine. In the 3D format options, we'll give the round bevel and let's give it around 20 points by 20 points. That's it. Okay, and here I have this image. I'm going to place it above it. Let's bring it forward. Okay. Let's select both the 
images and then press Ctrl G to group them. Okay, now it is grouped. Now we have to give the mouse over effect. So for that, what are we going to do? We are going to select this and then we will go to the insert. We'll go to the action and in the action, we'll select mouse over effect, hyperlink and we are going to select hyperlink to slide number four and then press ok button here so we have given the mouse over effect and we have added the background animation also now let's learn how have we created this kind of page all right so for that basically what i have done here i've taken this this slide and i've copied it by pressing the ctrl d here i have the same exact slide now here by selecting all these icons we are going to shift it towards this side and we'll shift it to this side okay now for these this rectangle uh in the shape fill option in the direction we are going to change the direction and this time we are going to give the bottom like this okay and now let's insert a rectangle so let's go to the insert in the shape rectangle so like this i have inserted the rectangle okay and for this the solid fill is going to be the eyedropper color and this bluey color we can use all right and then in the 3d rotation Sorry, 3D format option. Again, let's give it some level effect. So 20 points width and height. That's it. All right. And here we'll go to insert and zoom, zoom option. We'll go to the slide zoom options. And here I have some videos. So I'm going to select those. And here let's insert them over here. Perfect. And for the 3D, so let's go to the 3D models. Let's go to this device and let's select the folder. And here, let's go to our 3D model that is for Bluey. This model I have downloaded from the sketch fair. So for the tutorial, you can go to the description box. All right, let's just set its size. Okay, like this, and the same way you are going to insert this video box as well. And here you're going to insert the text box, and the same way you're going to add the go back option. But for the go back option, we'll go to the insert option, and in the insert option, we'll go to the action. And instead of giving the mouse over effect, we will give the mouse click effect and just select the slide number all right and here for all the slides i have given the transition that is the mock transition 